Dan, congratulations on being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Quite an honor. Well deserved. Thank you. It's a, it's a humbling experience, really. It's really it's an honor. Yeah. Well deserved. Uh, what individual had the greatest influence on you uh, as a coach in your wrestling career, or even as an individual? Uh, I was uh, introduced to wrestling. I, I, I Wrestling, I was a latecomer. I didn't know what a wrestling match was until I was a junior in college. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'd have to say and answer that question, uh, probably Hugh Mumby at uh, San Jose State, because mm -hmm. although Ted Mumby was his father and Hugh, uh, Hugh came after him, and uh, I'd say those two guys probably. Okay. Uh, did you have any idols in the sport when you got involved, people you looked up to other than your coaches? There were a lot of good people, mm -hmm. and uh, I know that uh, in uh, in the time that I uh, was active as a participant, there were people like uh, uh, Hitchcock. Hitchcock was a right. Lon Hitchcock was a, an individual that was uh, to be reckoned with and at San Jose State, uh, followed by the name of Dick Francis, who mm -hmm. later became the right. uh, head foot well, not the head football coach, but the head wrestling coach at Fresno State was. Uh, was uh, pretty effective. So those are the guys you looked up to? Yeah. Uh, how did you get started in wrestling? You said you got started as a sophomore in college, so what got you into it? Well, it was really a fr I was really a junior. I was really a late one. Uh, you know, I didn't know what amateur wrestling was until I got to San Jose State. Mm -hmm. And I had been uh, I had been on the football team at San Jose State. I transferred from the junior college to San Jose, and I was uh, on the uh, junior varsity football team, and that meant that I got to run offensive plays against the first team mm -hmm. defense. And uh, it was right after that season ended why uh, I was uh, walking through the gym one Saturday. It was in December, I would imagine. I can't recall the exact date, but I was uh, walking through the gym because I heard, I'd heard a lot of, uh, you know, people yelling and one thing or another, and then I walked in onto the gym floor, and uh, there were about four or five mats spread out, and they were doing this thing, and uh, I didn't know what it was, and I was mm -hmm. told it was wrestling, and I, the guy right next to me on the first mat closest to where I was standing, there was a, there was a guy there that was down there, and I, and I, what I later found out it was a high bridge. He was mm -hmm. fighting for his life, and I thought to myself, who would ever want to do this, you know? And uh, a couple of days later, uh, uh, Ted Mumby Sr. had me in the room, and from then on, I, I just liked it. Well, that's great, and you've been very successful at it, coaching it. Uh, what do you attribute your success to? Uh, well, great kids, really, and good support. Uh, I've always had the opportunity to work with what I thought to be talented kids. It was raw talent because the sport was was uh, new to them too, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, they were very very receptive and uh, they uh, eager to please, and their parents were uh, supportive. And uh, the the closet was full most of the time. And, uh, I was lucky to have some, some good ones. Yeah, them. that makes a difference. Is there one uh, moment, match, uh, event that uh, stands out in your mind as a highlight of your career, Dan? Uh, not really. There were a lot of them. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of them. But I, I wouldn't be able to pinpoint one specific match. I know that uh, John Azevedo was the most talented and accomplished one that, mm -hmm. that we had. And uh, there were a whole host of others after him that were we weren't maybe quite at his level, but right. we did well. Oh, absolutely. Uh, what made you decide to become a coach? Obviously, you got introduced to it in college, but why did you decide to do it? I, I wanted to be a coach in uh, back when I was in high school. I, I had a high school coach by the name of Dave Weiss that I admired and uh, had a great deal of respect for, and uh, I, I liked sport and. Uh, I, uh, it, it, I'd say that he probably had the biggest influence on me to have me go in that direction, and he was a football coach. Uh, like I say, at that time I had no idea I was going to wind up being a wrestling coach along right. with being a football coach. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing how things turn oh, out, isn't it? Oh, yeah. 
uh, now that you're finished coaching, uh, that your career is over, was, would there be anything that you would change if you had to start over again in your coaching career, Dan? Uh, not really. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe enjoy the moment a little bit more. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, when you're young and uh, you're real intense, you forget to smell the flowers as you're going along. I agree. Yeah. And so uh, uh, that, that's, that's, I think, what I would do. And my wife helped me on that. Uh, one time, I remember she said that uh, when I was kind of in an intense part of my career that you got to stop and enjoy the kids. Mm -hmm. Stop and enjoy the kids. Great advice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good thing to have. Now, from the things that you've learned in wrestling, uh, what has contributed most uh, to your life, life's philosophy from things you've learned from the sport? Um, well, I think probably that uh, everybody has a niche. Life isn't just black or white, you know. I mm. think that uh, you learn some of the kids, like in wrestling, some of the kids that you thought uh, wouldn't be able to, uh, uh, you know, uh, participate at a very, uh, very effectively, they, they turn around and they surprise you. And mm. so uh, I think uh, that probably uh, would be the biggest thing. Uh, everybody has, has a place. Okay. Last question, maybe the loaded one. Uh -oh. What would you like? <laughs> what would you like people to remember about uh, Dan Gonzalez? You know, I was asked that question by the local newspaper back uh, when I retired a number of years ago. Because I'm semi-retired now, mm -hmm. but when I retired uh, back in 1996, I was asked that same question, and I'm going to give you the same answer I gave them. Uh, I like to be remembered uh, that I was honest and fair. Mm -hmm. And that's the long and the short of it right there. What more can you ask for? Well, we appreciate the time that you've spent with us here, Dan. And once again, congratulations for being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. You're welcome.